Hi guys, Robin46 here and welcome yourselves back to MotoGP15 and today we're going to be comparing the Aprilias in MotoGP15. So let's have a little look at them. On the left hand side we have the RS Cube. In the middle we have the ART GP14 and on the right hand side we have the RS GP15. Just having a quick look at them all. The ART and the uh, factory Aprilia pretty much have a similar exhaust but you can see the Cube has a completely different exhaust. You'll find out the sounds when we get to them in a minute. So let's do some laps. In the biggest square we have the factory Aprilia so we're going to be doing the uh, RS GP15 first. Do a lap on that and then we'll switch over to the ART GP14 and then do the uh, RS Cube last. So feel-wise, the factory Aprilia, um, it isn't too bad actually, um, because it's not as fast as the other factory bikes, you do find that coming out of corners the rear doesn't spin up as much, um, and as it isn't too bad handling wise, it uh, does feel quite nice, the sound is okay, um, compared to the real life sound, it's probably the closest out of the uh, the factory bikes, but uh, we'll, we'll compare the lap times as well at the end of the video to see um, the differences between the three Aprilias. I could have included the uh, PBM uh, Aprilia as well, but I just thought it's pretty similar to the ART Aprilia, um, so I didn't really see the need to use the PBM machine either. We come to the closing stages of the lap corners left to go and then when we go the line we'll switch over to the ART GP14 which is effectively um, a CRT by the claiming rules teams uh, from a few years ago you may remember there uh, hasn't really had that much development over the years the IOTA yeah let's uh, test that out obviously the sound is different which is good because um, Masto didn't just decide to use the normal Aprilia sound and uh, use it on the same bike. I mean handling wise it does understeer a bit more than the uh, RS GP15 um, so you do find yourself going wide a little bit. Power obviously not that great. Um, it, does, it doesn't have as much power as the uh, RS GP15 but it still does spin um, a little bit when you come out of corners. I mean, when I was at Silverstone and uh, especially on uh, qualifying when uh, we were watching the yeah, MotoGP qualifying, De Angelis on the uh, ART GP14, it uh, definitely looked like um, a bit of a uh, horrible bike to ride. It was um, going wide quite a bit and it just looked like it didn't want to turn into corners. Don't know, I don't think they're going to be on the grid next year. Um, I mean, the, the way things are going, it's uh, it looks like we're going to be losing a few bikes next year. Obviously the uh, forward racing, um, Yamaha's being a, uh, what a big one to go. And also Ioda as well. And, uh, Cow Abraham as well. Let's go on to the RS Cube. Apparently this bike was a, a bit of a bitch to ride as well. I don't know why but um, Milestone has given it the Yamaha engine note. Um, which is a bit strange because when you're trying to, trying to race it, it um, sounds like a Yamaha so you think it's going to go like the Yamaha but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't handle very well at all. It does understeer a lot more than the ART. Aprilia does, and uh, as you can see, he got wide quite a bit, so it's a bit annoying. In fact, I don't think I've hit. Yeah, there we go. Hidden apex. <laughs> it is definitely quite quite difficult to uh, to try and use, just because it just pushes on in corners all the time, and uh, it's quite aggressive coming out of them as well. It's not really a bike that I like. I mean, I like the wheels on it. Uh, the blue wheels are quite smart, but that's pretty much all I like about it. I mean, the colour scheme isn't too bad. White and gold. As we 
come around to finish that. Last corner. We've pretty much finished all three of them. And what we'll do, we'll look at the individual fastest laps that I've done and uh, compare the times. So, the uh, cube, the quickest time was a 133.3. The ART GP14 was a 133.1. And the factory were pretty uh, done it in a 132.3. So, uh, pretty much as you would expect, really. I mean, the ART GP14 was only a little bit quicker than the cube. But um, I was definitely expecting the. Uh, RSGP15 to be the quickest. Anyway guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.